So how do you distinguish between ODD and conduct disorder? So the difference between ODD and conduct disorder, the deciding factor is interpersonal style. How do I act or respond with other people? Okay, so interpersonal style marked by irritability and defiance. With children that have conduct disorder, they seemingly may lack a conscience or repeatedly violate the rights of others. So their interpersonal style is control you, control things around you. I'm going to violate your rights. I'm going to step on your toes. That is their interpersonal style. And that is how we know, okay, we got some seedy things going on. So bullying, threatening, or causing harm being cruel to animals, and then sometimes without that evidence of irritability is there. It's just fun for them, all right? So we want to look at that interpersonal style. With ODD, yes, I may annoy you. I may pick at you. I may put my finger in your face and say, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you, those types of things. But I am not actively trying to violate your rights when it comes to ODD, okay? So that interpersonal style can be a great indicator as to whether we have ODD or conduct disorder especially if some of those symptoms are overlapping or we may not have enough information and we need to make a um, diagnosis or you know, put a placeholder there. So in both cases, children are gonna be defiant. So both with ODD and conduct disorder, they're going to be defiant. They will not obey the rules. They're not following the rules imposed by society or those closest to them, home or school. And both conditions may co-occur with other mental health conditions. So like I stated before, we may have ODD and ADHD. We may have conduct disorder and ADHD. We may have mood disorders, anxiety, or depression involved as well. But again, the biggest indicator is that interpersonal style. There's a difference with control. ODD, I'm just trying to control my environment. I don't want to do your work. I don't want to turn in my paper. I don't want to go to gym. I don't want to do the dishes. So they're they're trying to control their environment and how they, you know, show up in the environment. But with CD, I'm controlling you. You're going to do what I say. I'm going to make you do what I want you to do. I'm going to make you conform or, or comply with whatever it is that I'm saying that you need to do or whatever request or demand that I am giving you, okay? So again, interpersonal style is a big indicator and the interpersonal differences when it comes to control. ODD, I'm controlling myself and my environment. CD, I'm controlling you as well as my environment. Now, ODD, of course, they dislike control from others while CD, they're trying to attempt to control others, whether it be consciously or unconsciously or subconsciously. They're kind of, I have a plan because I see that you're weak. I've, I've heard some of my youth say that as well. They were they were what, wait, what they call a duck or some other slang or what have you. They were duck, they were frog, whatever that looks like. I, can, I knew I could control them based, by what, based on me watching them and so I did. That's what a youth with conduct disorder may say or has told me specifically. But with ODD, it's not that deep. I'm not watching you. I'm not observing you. I just want what I want. And you're gonna, I'm going to try to find a way to get what I want. If I want ice cream and you tell me no, then I'm going to just sneak it and go to my room, right? But with conduct disorder, you know, it's going to be definitely controlling that person within their environment as well. So in other words, youth with conduct disorder, they don't want to be controlled, but they still want to control others at the same time, all right? So those are some indicators that you can kind of look into or think about 